What's up, y'all? It's your girl blushing on back with another motherfucking video. Okay, so I'm in a different space, clearly. Normally, I record my sit down videos upstairs, but um, my daughter is up there playing with some chemicals, so I'm gonna just do it down here, okay? So, today is gonna be something a little bit different. You know, I normally do the vlog. I know the girls love the books, but I get so many questions about my um, my surgery. You know, I get a lot of questions about them. So obviously, the girls wanna know what's tea. The girls wanna know what's to this tummy tuck. Like, honey, what happened? Like, did it hurt? Did you, I wanted to take you to heal. Like, what's good? And so I'm here to tell y'all, right? 10 things that I wish my doctor would've told me before I got the tummy tuck. I mean, being a hunter, I was gonna get it anyway. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's just like stuff that I feel like, I wanted to call him and ask, like, is this is this normal? Am I supposed to be doing this? Like, should I call? Like, am I overreacting? Am I underreacting? I just had so many different emotions around that time. And so, so I was certainly scared, um, you know, but knowing these things would have helped me to ease my mind. So, if y'all want to know 10 things about a tummy tuck that, um, that you should probably know, stay tuned for this video oh also sidebar my hair is like i don't know what the fuck so i'm gonna so i think what i'm gonna do today is like a cute little updo i don't know so i'm gonna use my flat irons and this gonna kind of be like a get ready with me because y'all need to do my hair as well so number one number one when it come down to getting this surgery this is a big surgery and if you was like me i was a fucking panicky ass mess i was searching deaths i was searching what could go wrong and granted you need to educate yourself but it got to be like an obsession with me so you gonna have them second thoughts number one baby 10 out of these 10 things that i want y'all to know about this tummy tuck surgery baby you gonna have some second thoughts you're going to have some second thoughts you're gonna be like why am i doing this <laughs> i could just do it the regular way what if something goes wrong what if i die like basically i'm just parting a bang out y'all because i want to have like a um the pink curl updo with a bang so i started obsessing over shit i was obsessing over the, the again the the wrist the depths um what all could go wrong botch tummy tucks tummy tucks gone wrong baby listen you name it i searched it okay I already had some apprehension going into the surgery, but that is perfectly, I'm here to tell you guys, that's perfectly normal. I'm just going to roll this up into a little curl while I do the rest of my hair. But it's perfectly normal to have those second thoughts. That's, that's, that, if you don't have second thoughts, I'm starting to look at you like, mm, why you ain't got no second thoughts? Why you just so confident? You know what I'm saying? That's a normal human occurrence. So anyway, so I'm just gonna take this edge style booster and just and just like hit my edges with it. I'm gonna just part some edges out over here. Cause this is gonna be the side that's gonna be kind of like out. Part my that and then my sideburns. Alright. edge booster so then as i get the surgery and everything i go home you know i get home i got all my family there with me so of course i have plenty plenty of support but you know how it is once you get surgery you have your family there for that day and then the next day everybody kind of disappear so anyway i'm like the next day i tried to get up and get out of bed when I went to sit up, oh my God, my my stomach was burning so bad. My stomach and my back, it was just horrible. That brings me to number two, honey, you're gonna need some help. 
you're gonna need help now granted it's different degrees of help some people may need more help than others obviously um i needed probably a moderate amount of help and i've had four c-sections and people were like oh if you had c-sections you'll be able to do good with that which i didn't do bad but it was definitely a difference from my c-section so um you're gonna need some help make sure somebody's there with you there's somebody there who can assist you um you're gonna need help that's number two so then moving forward um as I was doing my day to day, we talking a week after the tummy tuck, a week post op, two weeks post op. Um, there were times that I swelled a lot. Like, my damn stomach looked like <laughs> a little tire around it because that little area of my stomach, about this this wide in diameter around my stomach, was just swollen you know what i'm saying so it would protrude just a little bit not nothing crazy i mean but enough for me to know like okay something happened there you know so again i'm one year post-op and yeah i do swell <laughs> i do swell it's not nearly as bad as it was before but i definitely do swell um especially if you're a wine drinker like me, especially when you drink wine, you're gonna really, you're gonna really swell. Number three, I wish somebody told me that like I'm a swell. Six, I'm gonna say six months to a year post op because I'm one year out, and some days I do swell. Yeah, you're gonna swell. There's gonna be some days where you're gonna swell. Some days are gonna be worse than others. Uh, the key to it is to know your triggers. Like what triggered me to swell was, again, um alcohol and eat, eating salty food that did it for me all right now moving forward um so some weeks have passed sex is a big deal like we have to know like mm, when can i do that when can i be active in that in that manner what are my directions as far as that so anyway the doctor told me three to four weeks right off the bat he's like Try not to be um, intimate for three to four weeks because you're using those core muscles during sex and you kind of want to just rest that area. You know what I'm saying? And let it fuse, let it do what it's trying to do. So, of course, we waited. But then the first time we were intimate, it felt different. So that brings me to number four, surgery. And it, again, it's not gonna happen like that for everybody, but the surgery could very well change the location of your vagina. I hate to speak, I mean, we grown. Everybody here is grown, so we all speaking like this, like whatever, we grown. So like the location of the vagina might change. And so then that leads into like y'all sex being different. Um, it just takes you into a whole nother setup. Like, you know, um, also your masturbation. I don't know what you guys' habits are, but, but mass was different. What was different about it was, and the, okay, so let me address the location of my vagina first. What was different about it was he took, um, he took the the top, the bottom of my stomach, okay, he took the bottom of my stomach and he pulled it down and then he took the top part of my vagina, the skin there. So basically he pulled, there's my stomach, he cut off the excess, he pulled the stomach down, he pulled the vagina up and stitched the two together. So, um, not the shape, the location. It changed it from like really in the, in the middle to like just a tiny bit anchored upward so the first time i was we were intimate i was like what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck is going on this don't feel like it normally feel you know but um it wasn't a good or bad it was just different it was like i don't remember this being like this you know what i'm saying this is different masturbation changed okay let me address that 
during that time okay you can't be active i'm a woman i got knees like you know i don't have to go into that but what was happening to me was on orgasm my stomach muscles were contracting it was staying contracted for a long time and then after a while it will release you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, during regular orgasm, you know, you have some contractions. But this was causing them to stay contracted and then release. So the first time I tried to to um, participate in that, I got nervous. I'm like, what the fuck is happening to me? Like, I got, I, I was scared that I wasn't, I don't know, I was scared that I wasn't supposed to do it or that I had messed something up or I don't know what the fuck I thought. So, I immediately called him. You know what I did. I called him. I'm like, um, is this supposed to happen like this? And he didn't tell me no, but he didn't tell me yeah. He basically told me like, it's a lot of stuff that's going to be crazy right now. So, this is my first time doing this hairstyle. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm just going to kind of play it by ear and do what I feel like looks cute on me. As time started to go on, I felt like I didn't know what my results, I knew what my results should look like because I had been watching people that were post-op tummy tuck a year, two years, five years. So I knew what the results would look like eventually, but going through that process, I didn't realize that I was still looking weird. When I go back to pictures of myself, um, throughout the healing process, I felt good, but I still looked weird. I still had like a little, like, I don't know, like a little pooch in the front, kind of like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like I still had some work to do on the healing side. I guess I'm going to put it like that. Like I wasn't all the way like a hundred with the healing. But you can tell me shit, baby. Soon as my stomach was flat, I was I was out there in the streets, okay? So it wasn't like I was missing nothing, you know, like shit, I was still doing what I was gonna do, you know, but I was just still in the healing process. So yeah. Okay, so number six. You will look different. As time when you first come out of surgery, you're gonna feel like you look good and you are gonna look better. But you're still going to be swollen. It's still going to be water weight on you. It's still going to be just swelling of the tissues. Just all the extra fluid is just as time goes on, your results settle. The fluid dissipates and you just look even better than you did before. It takes them months, sometimes years to heal. So you're going to take, you're going to have to take a little while to heal. And you're going to have to be patient with your body. Like over time um i listened to my body i paid attention to my body and what is this shit you know this is some silly ass shit i'm probably just gone i mean i'm gonna just kind of leave it like this honestly do my edges and keep it moving it's it was a new process for me so i didn't know what the fuck to expect pay attention to your body you're gonna look different don't hit the panic button calm down most of the time it's just our man playing with us you know what i'm saying um so i wish somebody told me that honey you're gonna look different afterward you may not look the same you know you you, you may not look exactly like how that picture your wish pick you're gonna look a little different and then over time your body is gonna settle into what it's gonna be so then again, as time went on, you know, my body got better and everything. My eating habits changed because obviously you have a post diet, a post surgery diet to follow. So I couldn't be eating all the same shit that I was eating before. My appetite changed. So that turned into, again, me eating one meal a day or two meals. You know, if I was lucky, two meals a day and just having my little snacks. And I was okay with that. I was full. I was full you know i wasn't like starving anything like that so that's tip number seven your appetite your appetite may change back you know you may look at some shit that you looked at before like oh that looks so good you may look at it now like i don't want that shit like it's too much it's too much food i don't want it i'm good now i don't like being full like that i hate it like i hate being full i like to be fed 
and satisfied but like that full like i ate too much filling i can't stand it so that's tip number seven honey your appetite is bound to change like the way you eat what you crave your appetite may decrease most people's decrease because obviously they're doing this to your stomach um or your or your abdominal space i'm not gonna say your stomach because they don't touch your stomach your actual stomach but you may not want as much food as you used to want before you may you may opt for smaller portions because you don't have that space now you know and it was a struggle i had to learn how my body wanted me to eat after the surgery i wanted to just scarf down everything because that's what i was used to doing but my body wanted me to take my time like okay don't eat as much calm down you know don't eat crazy that's number seven your appetite is gonna change maybe more than likely it will not everybody disclaimer not everybody is gonna experience every single thing on this list some people may experience one thing some people may experience all the things this is me just giving the things that i personally experienced going through my post-op process um that's part of the reason why I lost some of the weight that I lost. Yeah. Listen, my digestion, my body digesting what I've eaten was so loud. Like, I would be sitting there and my stomach would... And I'd be like, what the fuck? It was to the point where um, if I was out... I could hear my own digestion like sometimes my husband could hear it too like damn that's your stomach doing that and it wouldn't be because i was hungry it would be more because my body was digesting the food but i guess because there's not that fat there covering that area you can hear things better like obviously you can also take through a small wall versus a really thick one you know what i'm saying you know what i'm trying to say so i'm measuring myself every day i'm making sure i'm I'm um, staying on top of like my progress so that when I go to the doctor, I can report my progress to him and he can tell me, yeah, you're doing a great job. You know, everything is doing what it's supposed to do. But the reality of it was um, everything's so unpredictable in that time. Like any progress is good progress, but the progress you may think is progress. The doctor may be like, you moving too fast. You know what I'm saying? So when I went to the doctor for the first time afterward, I was 199 going into surgery. When I went to the doctor for the first time afterward, I was 197. I'm like, honey, you cut seven pounds worth of fat off. Why the fuck am I only two pounds less than what I went in there as? But here's the thing. After surgery, your body is healing. The water is chasing the salt, the swelling is happening. You know, you just, your body is trying to get regulated. So you may not lose as much weight as you think you're going to lose right in the beginning. Like, I was very disappointed because I'm like, why did I do this if I'm not going to lose weight or inches? But give yourself time. Over time, your body will contour more. If the surgeon is a good surgeon and he did his shit right, your body's going to contour more. At first, it feels like swollen thick tissue over time the tissue is gonna thin out it's gonna just feel normal like a normal stomach i wish somebody would have told me but they didn't and so that's why i'm telling y'all because these are things that i went through and nobody told me what was up so i'm going to um get a little um a little dolled up and then i'm gonna come back with a whole finished look and I'm gonna give y'all my number 10 tip on what the fuck I wish them doctors would have told me that they didn't tell me, okay? Period. I'll be back. So basically I did my makeup, I did my hair. Hair looks cute. It's a cute little like one or two day style. Like it's giving very much natural effortless. Like <laughs> stop playing with me, luxury. Mm, what you trying to do, you know what I'm saying? So. This is the finished makeup look, you guys. So, anyway, back to what I was saying because my battery finna go dead on my camera. But listen, I gave out the first one through nine. Number 10 is, in the end, if your doctor is good and he did a good job, you're going to feel so much better about yourself, okay? You're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel better about yourself in clothes. You're going to feel better about yourself in um 
in workout wear. You're just going to feel better about yourself in lingerie. You're going to feel better about yourself in underwear. It's just going to be a whole different vibe because you don't have that blocking you. You don't have that thing that's subconsciously in your mind that's bothering you. Even though you don't want to exhibit that it's bothering you. It really does bother you. And if you're anything like me, my stomach bothered the fuck out of me. And I, I played it good, you know, and I did what I needed to do. I was cute. I wore my clothes regardless. But, baby, that stomach, that stomach bothered me for sure. So, I hope this video helped somebody. Those are my top 10 tips that I wish that somebody would have told me before I got this fucking surgery. So that I would know going into the surgery what I was dealing with. Also, this is a learning space. We None of us have been through this before. Except for those of us that are on the other side. And it's up to us to teach and educate everybody coming up um on you know what you might feel what what is the possibility of you feeling like it's very very important that we educate each other so again this is a safe space with me um i have lots i'm an open book if anybody has any questions comments you know you can go ahead and comment below you can ask me a question you can follow my instagram it'll probably be right here you can follow my twitter or you know, you can just DM me wherever and ask me any type of questions as it pertains to this. And I am an open book baby. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Y'all let me know what other type of videos y'all want to see. Make sure y'all go check out my tummy tuck vlog um, video days one through seven. Make sure y'all check out my one year post-op um, tummy tuck vlog. And then this one, the top 10 tips that I wish somebody would have told me before I got this tummy tuck. I'll just play y'all, but... I got on a little one two number today, you know what I'm saying? A little Yeah, I know your girl's trying to bring the content every single week, sometimes two times a week, depending on how I might feel. And yeah, thank you for watching, y'all.